Hey everybody, I'm Karara and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about how to make Yusuko Platinum. When I got started with Yusuko, I had no idea what to do. So basically what I'm going to be doing is giving you guys advice based on my experience with 3 years of Yusuko. So basically making Yusuko Plat comes down to 3 steps. First, know language super super well. I don't care which one, but no one very very well. Because most importantly, it saves you a lot of time during the competition and lets you improvise during the competition as well. It also takes away a lot of the focus from the implementation of the thing and actually onto the actual algorithm. I personally use C++ because it's super fast and really easy to write. Whatever language you use is completely up to you. Here are a couple options on the Yusuko website. C, C++, C++11, Java, Pascal, Python, and Python 3.4. Generally, don't learn a language that you don't think you're going to use in the future. And next, we got to talk about some problem solving. So, first step, AOPS. If you guys are at all into the Olympiad scene, you probably know about Art of Problem Solving. In sixth grade, my mom made me do it, and that kind of sucked, and I was like, I'm too cool for this, I don't need to do that. But the truth is, I really wouldn't. I really don't like my sixth grade self. I kind of sucked back then, but don't we all? Enough about my sucky sixth grade self. Let's continue where we left off, AOPS. My mom originally forced me to do it, but in the end, I think it was the best thing that ever happened to me, no joke. I basically started doing AOPS all the time, and it was basically my only focus in 7th grade. And what's crazy is that it makes your brain think in completely new ways and makes problem solving a lot easier. I don't think it just helped me in math, it also helped me in all my classes and all the other Olympiads that I do. I think the reason why math and AOPS is so good is because it forces you to think out the box, and it teaches you basic problem solving skills with pretty small sized problems. AOPS is kinda like a... Brain fertilizer. Oh, that sounds good. Brain fertilizer. It's a brain fertilizer in the sense that it makes all the other Olympiads a lot easier, not just math. The reason I don't suggest doing musical problems to develop your problem solving skill is because musical problems are so long. They take a long time to just read them. Like, I don't care about Bessie the Cow or Farmer John, I just want to get to the problem. And math has none of that nonsense. But, if you really want to do musical problems to develop your problem solving skills, Try to work on the algorithm, but not the implementation. I personally think that writing the code is the easiest part, and don't waste too much time practicing that. What you should be focused on is doing the problem solving until you get to a high enough level that the coding actually starts to matter. In general, I put a lot of emphasis on problem solving, and you can probably see that in my other videos, my Yusuko walkthroughs and all that, and I basically walk you guys through my thought process, because I think that's the most important part. The thought process is what allows you to solve problems. I know there's a lot of tutorials out there, but I don't think they're good enough because they don't really give an insight into what I'm thinking and how I actually get to the solution. It tells what the solution is, but it doesn't say how I got there. If you want to see my Yusuko walkthroughs, I'll put a link down in the description, so go check that out. Now, you have a programming language, and you have a problem solving arsenal. And that means you made silver, because all bronze is, is basically taking your language and applying very basic problem solving skills. So once you have those two things down, you're basically in silver. When I made silver, I didn't even know what breadth for a search was. I didn't know any algorithms whatsoever. And that brings us to the third step. Learn your algorithms real good. Learn that CS. It's pretty obvious that you have to do Yusuko problems to get better at Yusuko. If you get stuck, look at the solution. As you do more and more problems, you'll be exposed to new algorithms, which you can look up on Geeks for Geeks, and that will basically teach you the basics. As you do more problems, you'll be more exposed to what types of algorithms go with what types of problems. And this is super useful because it basically lets you look at a problem, see what algorithm you need to use, and then develop that problem from there. However, just doing problems and looking at algorithms from the solutions isn't very efficient at all. You're basically wasting a bunch of problems that you could have solved if you just had known the algorithm. So my advice? Learn the algorithm before you try the problem. And how the heck do you do that? What I did is I took courses. There's something called AlphaStar nearby, and I basically went to AlphaStar courses to learn the basics. There, I learned Dijkstra's, Kruskal's, BFS, DFS, all the good stuff. But that wasn't enough, so of course I went to Coursera, and I learned from there too. There are two courses that I would recommend, personally. The Princeton Coursera and the Stanford Coursera algorithms courses are super, super good. So check those out if you have the time. For the Princeton one, you might have to learn a little bit of Java, but it's worth it. What's really nice about these classes is that you can learn a bunch of algorithms in a structured way and not have to waste perfectly good usable problems to learn them. Also, these courses are taught by pretty high-level professors. Like the Princeton one is taught by Professor Robert Sedgwick, and the Stanford one is taught by Professor Tim Ruffgard. These guys are super prestigious guys, and you can put this on your college resume if you get the certificate for the Coursera course. Literally right now, I'm taking Berkeley classes, and they literally asked in their opening survey, did you take Robert Sedgwick's Princeton Coursera course? So now, once you've learned a lot of algorithms, like Kruskal, Dijkstra, BFS, DFS, and all those other good stuff, then you're ready to go to gold. Because silver is basically taking your problem solving skill from bronze, and applying them to algorithms. But how to make platinum? 
That, my friends, is the question. To make platinum, you have to do well on gold. And gold is basically silver, but a little bit harder in terms of the problem solving aspect. They have much more complicated solutions that require you to think outside the box. In my opinion, the only way to break this barrier is to do a ton of problems. Just keep working on the problem solving, whether it's by doing AOP or by doing musical problems, just keep working on that. If you don't feel like doing problems, make sure that your coding and algorithms are solid. Because on gold, you can't afford to waste time trying to think of what data type to use. You also want to have your algorithm very, very solid because you don't want to miss a free 333 points just because you didn't remember that BFS could be applied here. And that's all I got for you guys. I hope you guys learned something new about how to get good at Usico. If you guys want more videos like this, let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and hit subscribe for more content. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time.